Hey, what's up everybody? Rod J back again. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. So tonight I'm taking a look at one from Rogue. This is their Chipotle Ale. This is an ale brewed with Rogue Farms Chipotle Peppers. So a pepper beer comes in at an ABV of 5.4%, 40 IBU. Rogue, of course, gives you a lot of information on what the beer is on the back, different things on there about the beer itself which is a lot of writing that I'm not going to read. But what they don't have on here is the date, which is a pet peeve that I cannot see that on here. I thought they usually put it on here, so unless I missed it somewhere or rubbed off, I just don't see anything on here. That being said, oh well, let's get this baby open and get it into a glass and see what this one has to offer. Don't know where the other bottle opener is, but... It is what it is. We adapt. That's what we do. We adapt and overcome. We got this pouring out here. A nice amber color on the beer itself. And I'm actually going to use one of my shaker pine glasses. So 22 ounce bottle. Got a good amount into it. This does. This is a kind of a true pine, so it will hold 16 ounces. You take a look there. By the time it settles in, it has more of a darker color, a deep, dark amber. The head itself, a nice cream, just off-white color to it. Definitely smell a little bit of a spice kick in there. The peppers come out with that little uh, peppers feel. A little bit of a heat there in the nose. And taking a look here, the beer itself has kind of a chill haze and I don't see much light getting really through it. It's almost like of a, an orangish type color. Now we get a light behind it, you can see some of the carbonation in play as well. So we do have some lively bubble action. Head is now dropped down to about a finger, half a finger, depending on the size of your hands. Actually has a little bit of a smoothness to it. I do feel that heat from the peppers in the uh, the mouth, but it's not overly spicy, not overly hot, but you get a nice little spice kick with it. This would actually be something that would pair nicely with some Mexican type food like tacos or fajitas or something along those lines, working off the spices from the food being used in those dishes. Goes out rather easily in the back end. It is pretty light in body. Not feeling any kickback from after swallowing. Carbonation is set pretty nicely on this one. No real big aftertaste. Like I said, it's light, so it's got a little bit of a thinness there in the body as well. Feel a little bit of that heat in the chest, but overall, you know, if I was gonna say what a pepper beer is supposed to taste like, this one kind of nails it pretty much. So a decent taste in pepper beer, got a little bit of lacing taking place there on the glass, as the head is definitely down to about an eighth or so, or a quarter, or however you wanna call it on the finger. Definitely pretty thin right now. But this again is from Rogue Ales. It is the Chipotle Ale. If you've had this one, let me know what you thought of it. Put it in some comments in the comments section. If there's a Rogue Ale you actually prefer, let me know that too. Feel free to leave a comment on that. Thanks again for swinging by to check out another video. I'm gonna finish drinking this one out. Look forward to catching you guys next time. Keep drinking those good craft beers. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff, and get your beer on. Cheers. Oh, you didn't know? Your ass better come!